And there's its face. Barely visible. Hello. Show us your face. Oh, I'm stretched out. Well, we're building a possum box here. This is our possum box. There's the hole they'll be getting into. We're looking at, I think this is, I'm not sure if this is the bottom or the top. I'm not quite sure. I'm not the expert who's making it. There's a hole for the possums to get in. There's a ladder. Whoops. For the little ones to get, climb up to the hole. And to get down to, sometimes they need assistance apparently. We learnt by studying online. So they've got a little ladder. They're made out of plastic plastic trellis so that's a good ladder for them and it's a sturdy box and it should last some years and we're going to put it up in a tree good sturdy box made out of boards just old boards that we uh, we bought from an auction once it's from an auction nice and sturdy and it'll stop the possums from climbing up in our roof because we've had them up in our roof for a very long time. Let's have a good look inside the box. There's our little ladder for the baby possums to climb out, although they usually travel on their parents' back, don't they? But we want to make sure that they don't get stuck inside the box. And it's a nice sturdy box. That must be the bottom of the box there, because the little ones would climb up there and get in, wouldn't they? So, and obviously, this is the lid that hasn't been put on yet. I'm not the building expert here. So, it's a good, solid box. And it just has to have the lid put on. Where's the lid? Oops. Here's the lid. And I'll just put it on the box. Somehow. Whoops. Perhaps that's how it goes. Something like that. I'm not sure. Whoops. Whatever. It's quite a sturdy box as you can see. Even a bird could inhabit that. And I'll show you it once it's put up in the tree. It's a nice box and we want them out of our ceiling. No more possums. That should be something something like well, what it looks like when it's finished. Unless I've got the roof on backwards, which is possible. Perhaps the roof should go on a bit longer. And perhaps the roof should look like that. Oh. Something like that, maybe. I wouldn't know. I'm not the expert. Perhaps it should have a better little roof over it. Where are we? There we are. Yes, there we are. Anyway, overall it looks pretty good. And that's the recommended size hole there for possums. So even though they look quite big possums, they can still get through a hole that size, whatever size it is. They're mainly fur, of course. So, they've got a nice new home and we'll put it up in a tree nearby. Maybe a giant Kurajong tree would be the best idea. And we didn't want to just push them out outside after living in the ceiling for years and years. We wanted them to have a place to go to. So, they mightn't decide to live in this, but it's there if they want to live in it. It's there for them anyway. I think it looks pretty good, really. I do. It's not a bad little piece of workmanship. Well, I'm reliably informed that that's how the roof goes. Like that. With it jutting out over the entrance. It protrudes over the entrance. Let's see. Yes. There's a bit of board across there. 
and holds it against the back. That's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. And oops. Anyway, that's how it sits all very nicely. That's how it sits. And it looks pretty good. And it will give the possums shelter. And it's like an awning like on a human's house, isn't it? It'll cover, give them a bit of protection when they're sticking their head out or something. More like a roof on a real house, isn't it, really, if you think about it? There we are. We just have to find a nice tree to put it in that, to put it in now. I think we'll use a Courageong tree because the possums have lined all of our ceiling, uh, of our roof cavity, with Courageong leaves. So we'll put it in the Courageong tree maybe. Well, well we're looking at the base now of this uh, possum box. There's a, a drainage hole there. One, two, and there's one in each corner, three and four. So that's good. If it gets water in it, it will drain itself. Apparently that's one of the things you're supposed to do. So that's good. So there's the completed possum box now. And to top things off, it's got a bit of rubber matting like you'd put on the floor of your car. Some rubber matting on the top to make it more weatherproof. So that's our final touch to make it a bit weatherproof. So it just has to go up in the tree now. Here we are. It's all completed now. There we are. Our little veranda roof here for them. And with its rubber roof, rubber roofing to help weatherproof it. So it's all completed and lovely. It's going to be a wonderful home for some possum. Let's hope they're happy in it. There. It's completed now. There's a Kharajong tree. A very tall tree and I think it would be a good safe place for the possums to be not that cats bother them I think we have a few foxes around here but they could certainly hold their own with a cat and cats and possums don't really bother each other do they? That looks like a nice tree to put the possum box Yes, that's a nice tree, a Kharajong tree. We shall have to get the ladder out and somehow put the boss possum box high up in that tree and it's full of their favourite Kharajong leaves and they should be very happy in there and hopefully they won't bother us again because our house is going to be all sealed and possum proof in a matter of days. Hello. Don't scratch me. I think I'm being hissed at. Don't scratch me. We put up naphthalene once and we've put up camphor, but the possum picks up the camphor or the naphthalene and tosses it out. You can't blame them, I suppose.